Right, Welcome back. Oh, we're going. Yeah, right, why we're not? Back. Look, we're back. Before we get started, we got a big crew today. I, I made something special yesterday, and I just figured that it wouldn't be right if I didn't share it with everybody. I like okay, it. Okay, so I got, every, I got everybody a little paper towel here. Uh, oh, Man, you can't even know. Okay, this, this, this turned out. Now, this is your, Martin, this is your boy Malcolm's recipe. Oh, Big Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm is Reed. It, is it yeah. brownie? That's our nope, buddy. Y'all seen brownie. him on this podcast. That's it's right. How to how to barbecue right, right Big Malcolm. Oh, oh, is this barbecue? Oh, it's bar- oh, this is. Oh, and I present. Ooh, that's a brownie. Mm. Pork belly burnt ends. Mm. You've heard of brisket burnt ends? I'll burnt have one. In. This is pork belly burnt ends. All right, look here. Gra- th- grab you one out and pass it around. That's right. bacon candy is what that is. I'm very excited. Uh-oh. This is the first time oh, I've done God this. Oh, God, one gets first pick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Giant D, you get Mr. Irrelevant. I'm fine. <laughs> there you go. I'll go last. It's I've actually, already ate some. It's actually warm. Today. I'm going to oh, leave yeah. that big one. That is I'll awesome. let y'all have that yeah, I'll big. take a little bite of that and let me know what you think. Right, well, I'm going to let you have the mm-hmm. I'm thinking I'm mm-hmm. coming to your mm-hmm. house and get the rest of it. I'm like, what about Bob? Mm. Okay. Look at him. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Mm. I'm thinking, how is there a pig left with a belly on him? Mm. Good night of living. That belly meat good. Stone, eh? Stone you figure something That'd out. make you go on and go hog hunting tonight. So, so props to Big Malcolm mm-hmm. on that. Mm. Okay, I'm glad. I'm... We started strong. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'll take our first break. Us. I can just drink that juice out of there. Wow. Look, look here. Oh, he's drinking oh, that's that. Delicious. Good night. I know y'all's fingers have been all in there, but that's all right. Well, look, if y'all driving or something, listening to this, and y'all hungry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ain't kidding. But let me tell you something. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten. That was good. And I, had, I had the same reaction. It's like Cousin Eddie would say, it is good. Mm. You don't have to have teeth to eat that. Mm. <laughs> Too tender. No, teeth optional. Look at Si. That's Look right. at <laughs> <laughs> just get him, Sam. No, I'm too, I'm too busy chewing, boys. That'll make you. That'll make you take him glasses off right there, no. just so you can get a closer look. <laughs> no, at no, it. no. Mm-hmm. Well, no, all six good. of us are here. And we, Man, yeah, yeah, all of us are here. I'm not sure why, but we started we're very strong. Why not? Well, because we're not all there. Because Stone had five snacks. Oh. Even yeah, better. Stone had snacks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we all show up. I was convinced when we got snacks. this message, they're like, all six, everybody going to be there. I was like, well, we're getting fired. This is the grand finale. This is the end. And it may very well be. Uh, who knows? I think we're supposed to do it again tomorrow. So Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> well, maybe tomorrow. We got one more day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep going. It just depends on where they run in the in the <laughs> grand scheme of things. What so. episode is this? I have no idea. You're that guy, not us. I'm not that guy. 214. 214. 214. Mm. And we've We're all still been not to how much I weigh. And Cy si still <laughs> hasn't run out of material. <laughs> no. No, he's retreaded the same ones a couple of times, but not too right. often. Not, good, not too often. When they're good, you can retread them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have any no. bad ones? I don't know. I leave that up to the ones listening. Well, I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. Oh, cause... man. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna revisit that. Yeah. Boy, I I just sitting here thinking if I had me a plate of that, bring something back with just a little that tater salad, time. and then finish it off mm. with Nan's peanut butter pie. Mm. Ooh, oh. I'd need to be looking into Goblin's medication. Ooh. I haven't right. had. Lunch I'm surprised time. his alarm ain't gone off yet. <laughs> it might. <laughs> yeah, I can taste it. I can taste something. A lot good. of brown sugar and butter and honey. Mm-hmm. Goblin, when's the last time you had something that sweet? Been a while. <laughs> Would you do it again? <laughs> if he had some more. Well, I should have grabbed two of them. Oh, that's right. You don't want to be on your deathbed. And right. Look back and say, boy, I wish I'd ate that last piece. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Unbelievable. I know. Man, that was good. Well, I was in Kentucky this weekend. I'm going to get this out of the way. And a young man, he probably 10, 11 years old, slid me this piece of paper on the way out the door. It said, could you please shout these names out on the duck call room? Shout them. Maxwell, you Hunter. Ain't, you ain't shouting. No, well, I, I can't. I don't, I'm trying to be kind to everybody's <laughs> ears. ears. What does that say, Phil? Does that say tornado? Tonardo? Uh, that's t- uh, Tonardo. Tonardo. Samuel, Owen, Jack, and Haddon. There you go. Shout I, out. I told you, you I go. would. Shout I did it out. <laughs> that is a crew of redneck kids right there. What are you talking about? Where are they from? Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Mount Washington, Kentucky. That's where I was at speaking this weekend. Yeah, that's our people there. I guarantee you. <laughs> a little bit north. I would say tornado. I was. 
Is I was. That how y'all pronounce that? Tornado. Uh-huh. Tornado. Yeah. Tornado. I was disappointed. I did. I got up there, and cause, you know, I take a little few questions from. Of course, they ask about him. Everybody does. Everywhere we go. Si. And then I asked them, I said, now look, y'all seem to be big fans of Cy. I need to know just how many of y'all have seen a Black Panther. Mm. Do you believe in a room full of 500 rednecks, not one person raised their hand? Well, they don't live in Kentucky. (laughs) (laughs) So I just figured when you get 500 rednecks together. That's up in the mountains, too. Uh That's why they ain't none. (laughs) It's one of their names. What? I've been hunting for that joker all all the time. Jack. Jack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jack. Hey, hey, Jack! Yeah, why are we up on you? Why are we shouting out Jack? He's been shouting him out for two hundred and fourteen yeah. episodes. Yeah, <laughs> Jack, the world's your oyster on this show. So yeah, that's all I got to tell you. But no, I, I, the young man gonna walk up to me and hand me that. Least I can do. Is, oh yeah, is do as he asks. So I didn't know what was on the paper. He just said, "Here, I need you to take this." <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Oh boy, okay, cool. all right, all right." No, and then we but, just met Tristan. Happy birthday, Tristan! Tristan drove all the way here from. Texas just for his birthday and he had a cool shirt on and I saw him and I said hey you you can come in well no, because so. the in the backstory I didn't realize this with Tristan they told me they come here like four years ago uh-huh. for his birthday and it was closed and everything was closed huh so I was like what was happening yeah y'all y'all did right if you come here on a Monday there's a good chance you're gonna find but you come here on Friday Saturday Sunday Mm, yeah. Probably just Scarce. two white ducks and a Mallard Drake is gonna meet you, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, work, the workforce is draining. I'm not saying we're Monday through Thursday, but boy, we're close. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's gonna be raining on Friday, then we fish on Tuesday. But you know, yeah. that's, <laughs> flexible boys, you got to be flexible. <laughs> that's right. And Godwin's more flexible. You heard him. Mm-hmm. You heard him say it since he lost weight. He's more I'm, flexible. They've been doing up pick, downs. I can pick stuff up off the floor now. <laughs> Your wife ought to be happy Better about just that. just leaving it there. Yeah. <laughs> walk, step over it. Well, step in the bedroom. I can just pull my clothes off and leave them. Uh-oh. Oh. Good for you. All right, moving on. on. I didn't know what you was going with there. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. ooh. We'll explore that further on the Valentine's episode. Do you, do you forego the hamper, the laundry hamper in the bedroom? Yeah, that's just a suggestion. Yeah. That's it. Thank that's you. It. <laughs> Brittany get mad at me all the time. She said, why do you take them off right by the hamper? I'm like, well, that's why I know to get them in the yeah, morning. Yeah, drop them on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I do it too. Up. Right in front of the hamper. Oh, right beside it. Yeah. But, yeah, right beside like, it. she said the key I'm question. It easy. Right beside the hamper. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to tote it off, just grab that stuff and chunk it in there. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. For I'm it. just glad I'm not the only one. But look, when they're on the floor beside the hamper, I know I wear them again tomorrow. Once that's they go a, into there, that's a good point. It's over. Like, well, hey, here's the thing. Hey, we never think about it. We're just taking them off and yeah. dropping them where we're at. Yeah. No, there's, we there's. Don't really realize, no, no. Oh, we're beside the clothes hamper where you could Uh-oh. drop no. your dirty clothes. There's, out. there's a word to associate with this problem. Lazy. It's called lazy. <laughs> this once is coming from a man once you get who a I, I spent a week, two weeks cleaning up the lair. And I said, we got a new rule size. So we're going to start throwing trash in the trash can. <laughs> Overrated. So Cy was looking at me. He finishes off his water. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and that's what he did. <laughs> huh. Oh, that's a hard They're allergic oh. to trash cans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. He said, that's oh, what you're oh, here oh, for. It was down to my right. The trash can was right there beside me. Right. And you miss, that's the problem. We like to shoot, and, and then, then we miss. Phil walks by with a big old plug of chow in his mouth, and he goes, <laughs> and just spit. <laughs> on the floor? Yeah, on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right beside size trash. <laughs> They're getting said, real well, close. Like marketing. He like, I said, change is is a tough thing. <laughs> but I'll Especially do, I'll if do your last best. name is Robertson. That's he right. He's like yeah. old Josie Wells. He's trying to. Well, hit no, stuff. no, that's not deer. <laughs> yeah. we, me and Saul are managing deer, and we got he's got pictures of him, and we passed it and get with the boss, the owner, and and his friend Burley, and says, "Hey, this do not shoot this deer." Well, hey, next time they go in the good woods, guess what they shoot? That deer. That deer. Yeah, I'm look, off. Look, they didn't even see the deer. It was just 
is that deer hair I see over there? And I said, yeah, shoot it. Boom. <laughs> So the moral of that story is don't go walking around in Phil's woods <laughs> with, a fur coat. with anything brown. <laughs> where where are yeah. you orange? <laughs> yeah. Make sure you got bright orange. Yeah, we got a big nine point, okay? You know, that we want him, you know, taking care of our women. Now, <laughs> Bernie, Bernie killed, you know, George Jones. Yeah. Pouring down rain, they got a four by sheet of now Burley, Now, hold on, Sal. Let's clarify this. <laughs> he didn't really kill George Jones. Is a deer we named George Jones. A deer because yeah. he looked like he had a rocking chair on his head. Yeah. <laughs> George Jones has a famous song. Yeah. Uh, don't I don't need a rocking chair. That's right. Yeah. Well, you yeah. call that one. He got a porch swing. Uh, yeah. That's a, <laughs> hey, that's a chandelier. Oh, that's a chandelier. I call that's that Mr. Cactus. Cactus. Okay. Cactus yeah. Jack. How about Cactus yeah. Jack? Yeah, Cactus there Jack. That'll work. Yeah. So he's got uh, little stickers going everywhere. Now, I found if you want Phil to do something, the last thing you want to do is tell him not to yeah, do it. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. Hey, there you while go. we're yeah. talking about Phil. <laughs> That's the truth. I want Jay Stone to tell uh, the story about the the hogs that e eased onto Phil's land from the neighbor. Oh, let's, 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 yeah. let's take a little break. Let's take a little break. That's a good one. While, while we wash the rest of this pork belly out of our okay. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Godwin, do you remember when you started losing your hair? <laughs> right back in the 1900s. Yeah, I mean, that's way back. Look, back in the 1900s, there was not a whole body system to hair loss. Holistic, even. That's what I'm saying. But now? But now. Now. We got it. Look, if Neutrophobe had been back in, ain't no telling. Oh, your good. stars would have changed so much. Good Golly. Night. I'd have been. You wouldn't have to wear a hat everywhere I'd you go. I'd be doing shampoo commercials and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Old Troy oh. Palomalu Jr. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're obviously talking about our friends over at Nutrafol. No drugs, no compromises. You know them. Nutrafol is trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors and it's physician formulated. Uses natural medical grade ingredients. What else could you want? I mean, if you, if you got a problem with hair loss, we're too far gone. It just happened. It happens. Yeah. So, Look, but they can help you out. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root cause of thinning hair, stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, lifestyle. Doesn't matter because they go through whole body health. They don't just go after one. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement, and it's clinically proven to improve hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. And they got a quiz. I love a That'll quiz. custom make it for you. They'll let you know what you need to help you out. And not to mention, Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides reliable results. Without, without compromising com your sexual health. And when you have twins, that's a plus. You can grow thicker and healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash men and entering the promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time, plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com slash men, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men. Promo code DUCK. Me and, me and Cy si had quite the hunt Saturday. It was uh, the youth and veterans hunt the annual youth and veterans hunt on Phil's property. And we had ourselves a large time. There's a duck that is called blackjack. Mm -hmm. And we had a blackjack festival. Also known as ringus neckus. Ringus neckus. <laughs> okay. And they fly about 80 miles an hour. Whoa. On a downhill swell. Just you know, all you hear is <laughs> as they go by. And then you say, get ready, they're coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, hey, then I shoot them up. I shot three boxes of shells. Had a Good hide. grief. That's an awful lot of bullets to kill six. And when he well, says, <laughs> yeah. But you ain't been, wouldn't but well, your third hunt. Well, no, no, here's the deal. And you got to get out in front of them by the hey, school bus. No, no, yeah. the morning hunt was kind of bad for me. I only killed what? I killed a half Zero. a mile of Drake. A half a mile. Yeah. <laughs> me, me, and somebody, me and somebody else, double JR, double one mile of Drake, and then. I actually did cripple a Woody. It took me three shells. Boom, boom, boom. And he fell in there about 90 yards. Well, I marked him. When we got ready to go, Stone was picking up decoy. And I said, hey, look, there's one duck over there about 90 yards. See that little Back. I said, see that little thing on the levee over yonder? I said, just keep that in line, and if you go toward it, you'll find it. And to his credit, he said, 
paddle towards them two trees, and that duck is 80 to 90 yards. I went 80 yards towards those two trees. I looked down, and there it was. I thought I did misidentify it. Dead as a hammer. Because I said it was a gadwall, but it was a woody. But yeah. he was flying along after I shot them three times at him, and it was then it was just. Old heart shot. Yep. Mm -hmm. was, you know. <clears throat> but I will God. say this. Though one of the most impressive. Cardiac arrest. Shotgunning displays out from Sai, I witnessed from Sai in years. <laughs> Three jacks, yeah, he was hunting on Phil's corner. Three jacks no come brush. by. That's nice. No man. brush. Yeah, no <laughs> brush. <laughs> Didn't have to deal no brush. Well, you, you had to fight brush. <laughs> so Sai raises up. Th these jacks are not checking up. It's a flyby. They're moving. He starts in on them early. Boom, miss. But then the next two shots, boom, fold. And then the last one out there, about 60, boom, fold. So I puts down a shotgun. He looks at us. He said, <laughs> I still got it, boys. <laughs> and then he looked at Bullfrog and said, Bullfrog, give me that oxygen machine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Side, you get winded from shooting? He's like, hey, adrenaline, boys, adrenaline. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Get excited, boy. Oh, I love it. But it was very impressive. So, Cy, did you go under the premise of youth or veteran? <sighs> Both. Oh. <laughs> Both. Youth inside. I was curious. Inside, yeah. Up here. I was youth. Okay. Uh, yeah, we put, uh, <clears throat> we put Bullfrog right next to him on the jerk jerk cord. That's the first time I ever put uh, ring neck decoys on a jerk cord. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Burley was making fun of me because he went. He went to pick up the decoys the next day. He said, "Who put ringnecks on a jerk cord?" I said, well, "And when that's what you got, that's right, what you right. got. When you're shooting ringnecks, that's right. Hey, you want to move? Oh, that's good. But, I guess uh, bullfrog, you, Goblin, you've been training bullfrog on that jerk cord technique. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, she she didn't stop pulling when when uh, Uncle Si said pull the cord. She pulled it. Hey, look, Shake that string. Five Yank the five. decoys. Five for five. five. Five for five. Yep. She ground swat any of them. Uh, all of them. All of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buddy. Heck the yeah. The last one, eighty yards with a twenty gauge. True story. And uh, yeah. On a ground look, swat. Yes. On a ground swat. Look, yeah. Boom like that. It knocked her earmuffs off. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm looking and that duck out there just. He's dead. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. 80 yard ground swat with a 20 gauge. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Once again, there's a heart to it. it. Hey, once again, Uncle Si is showing something here, and then he's got his little killer partner. She's showing out now with a 20 gauge. I'll send you a picture. The Jay Adventures of Si and BK. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. we got a. Hey, we never go it, deer hunting. If she do not go, it's usually a, you know, a gar. Hey, right, yeah. Gar hole. Hey, right, BK shows up, full limits. BK shows up, big buck. I'm always, it's always the same deal. Every time. Is she available for rent? <laughs> hey, she, <laughs> if the price is right. <laughs> like, a hunt, like a hunting buddy? Hey, she where you want to go in the morning? <laughs> yeah. She, she, she is a prime deer magnet, and she's also a good duck magnet. What about the oh, fish? Yeah. She can uh, catch them, cook them, clean them. Well, you know how rare it is she limited ducks down there. Mm -hmm. She's been three times, and we got three limits. <laughs> Pro, good luck. I don't think that's. I don't think and that's. That ain't, a, uh, that ain't a coincidence. No, no, she's no. good for it every time. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. I ain't seen three limits come out of down there in Hold five up. years. Oh, yeah. yeah, and you know, uh, I was telling one of my buddies. He said she get fired up, and I said, I guess so. so. I asked her on the way back. I said, you have fun on the duck hunt, baby. She said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she gets fired up if she breaks a yeah. little bit of smile. Because the first deer I watch her kill, you know, we's out there my my blind, which is a big hotel. You know, a doe comes up there and's eating the corn. You know, Stone says, "Well, we, are we buck hunting, darling, or are you gonna shoot that doe?" She sits there about two seconds, and said, "No, nah, I'm fixing to fire this this doe up." <laughs> you know, <laughs> boom, and and all that happens, she boom. Put the gun on safety, set it down, and then she no smile, that. no nothing. I, good really? shot, BK. Ice water in her veins. Yo, me and Stone, high fire. BK just over there. Okay, I'm ready to go now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You may go now. I've done, I've oh. done what I need to do. Yeah. I'll take care of the rest. Yeah. She did the same thing with them ducks yesterday. She'd shoot them, <laughs> and she'd sit down and put them down. Put the gun on safety, set it down. You know? uh, nothing happened. Tell me, hey, man, one more shell. 
Well, Stone, <laughs> see, we messed up, me and uh, uh, Mikey. You know, Mikey, well, I handed her three shells, and Mikey put all three in there, and then Stone gets in the blind. said, BK, you loaded? You know, she said, yeah, and I said, hey, we gave her three shells. She said, no, no, hold, hold. Get, get the gun back to Mikey there, BK, and let's take two shells out. Yeah. He said, she don't need them. She only needs one. One shot, one, shell. one kill. <laughs> one shot. And, and by the Stone way. Stone has taught her one shell, one kill. Would, so she's the exact opposite of you. That's <laughs> right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got four boxes with him right. any time. Oh, by the way. Look, uh, that's military training. This boy here, when he was in the Army, I wasn't going to run out of shells because ain't no be no hand He ain't running out of shells. <laughs> ain't ain't, ain't going to be no hand to hand. hand. It's going to be shotgun or rifle, you know. Uh, by the way, for you guys getting your young kids into duck hunting, uh, that is sound advice. That's right. Give them yeah. one shell. One shell. Make them really make that shell count. It, it really helps with accuracy and safety. And BK, hey, she works at one shell. It's always boom. And, and if you, it's a stupid question if you ask, did you get him? Oh, yeah. It's boom. No. It's a dead duck out there. <laughs> okay, don't even ask. Don't even ask. It's, it's it. No, we, we made some really good memories uh, Saturday. Got some really good pictures. Uh, did you get that picture? Yeah, Saturday? they're going to put it up on YouTube. We're not. It's, uh, we're in a new formation. Though. Oh, a yes. new formation now? We ain't hooked but, up. But uh, it, 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 uh, it, it went really well. Guys had a great time. And, uh, you know. The more memories you can make like that while you're on planet Earth, the better. Oh, know? I guarantee Absolutely. Yeah, I saw old Lida, one of the veterans at the airport. I said, you better get going, son. I mm-hmm. said, they ain't going to wait on you. you oh, better, we, you better get going. We waited on him, didn't we, Si? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we waited. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, hey, cut that in half and hand me half of it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. There you uh, go. Uh, Make ribeyes, you know, with uh, green beans, with uh, bacon, and brown sugar. And brown sugar. How we always end up on food? Yeah. Then <laughs> hey, always, hey, always food. food. Then nice rolls buttered. Sister mm. Sheepers. Yeah. <laughs> and then hey, pound cake for for dessert. When Nan's um, chocolate that's chip not, pound cake for dessert, it, it was. It was you know because I, si I told him that peanut butter pie wouldn't much. I, mm. I ain't big on peanut butter pie. That's <laughs> okay might, to be you know, wrong. Look, oh, I right. made a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, it's not that I what don't What about like a peanut butter and jelly pie? Mm. I don't know. Now, I, hey, I don't know. But I'll if you top that thing tell, with either hey, grape or strawberry jelly or mayhaw, I'm in. Hey, I was just fixing to say, tell Nan. I didn't even think about peanut that. Peanut butter with mayhaw jelly mixed. On, oh. But what about a layer of mayhaw jelly on top? On top. Ooh, good grief. <laughs> No, you yeah. don't like it, remember? Pow. Yeah. That'll make you slap That's your mama. That's what's going to happen. You get but near hey, it. If you slap your mama, I'm going to whoop your butt. <laughs> That's it. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after yeah. It will make you slap Ain't your mama. Jelly, huh? Goblin, we in the springtime. Everybody griping about you going fishing. Why are you trying to make my life difficult? Griping about me fishing? Yeah, because you ain't ever here, and they always at work. The only person I complain is Johnny D, and that's because he owns a tackle shop. I'm for fishing. I'm against work. He's, he's for. He's a pro fisherman. I get, I get bait, cut rate. Well, <laughs> there you go. Look, uh, and shiners too. The problem is, is you got me talking to Bambi every day to my dedicated HR rep, asking what I can do about how much you fish. <laughs> I don't like it. You can get me some more minnows. <laughs> Well, we may ought to put that in the in the employee handbook, and you get you get X amount of dollars a minute. But look, if we want to add that to the handbook, add it. It's super simple. Because let's make a deal time. That's the deal. There you go. Because with Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just ninety nine dollars per month. They're available by phone, email, and real time chat. So onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance, and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. So, look, we we can add mentors in there. I mean, may need time to come back to the table. I love it. We can Perfect renegotiate. Attendance. <laughs> Perfect attendance. <laughs> throw, throw a bucket of crawfish in there. It's just like when you call our customer service department, you get to talk to Angela. Now, she's from Arkansas. She can be a little hard to understand. <laughs> But you know she's speaking English, so that's a good thing. You can get US the same based. thing with Bambi, U.S.-based person dedicated straight to your business, giving you access to the HR expertise and personal touch you need. And their HR managers are U.S.-based person dedicated to your business, giving you access to the HR expertise and personal touch that you need. And let's face it, 
HR managers are expensive. They can cost up to 80 grand a year, but Bambi starts at just $99 per month. I'm not great at math, but that's a pretty good rate. And it's a pretty good savings right back in your pocket. You can schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It'll really help our show. Spelled Bam, B-E-E dot com, Bambi dot com, and type in Duck Call Room. I can't wait to see side. I don't know how feet. many people ask me about that <laughs> at Chattanooga. About what? Even get a pedicure. Going to get a pedicure. We're That's doing what they pedicure. Say it is. I said, do I that said that pedigree or whatever it was. <laughs> That's yeah. a dog food. Pet up, pet up. Hey, we're going, going to a nail place, and I'm going to have my toenails done. Who's we? We, the whole bunch. No, I ain't going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, why can't I do that? Oh, uh, yeah, you're going. No. no. Nope. You're in, Johnny. Dude. Right. Yeah. See, I, Stones, I like Stones approach to this. I, know, and I understand, I'm but my... peer, peer pressure ain't going to work on right. him. Mm. I got right. you. Right. <laughs> right. I'm going to have my feet washed. Your uh, toenails done. My I ain't touching all the and massaged, and then I'm going to have my toenails painted. You ain't getting your Gold toenails. Gold and purple. Hey, you know what just entered my mind? <laughs> I don't know. Can that, we say it on this show? That, Dumb and Dumber. That scene from Dumb and Dumber yeah. where they're grinding his toenails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what size toes look like. Oh, I got pretty feet. I bet they I look, you all that. I bet they look real similar to that. Oh, no. I'm, I've am i got pretty feet. Do you really? My toenails ain't very pretty. Your brother don't have pretty feet. <laughs> oh, no. My bro- brother has got mud grips for feet. I'm serious. He's got a He's call. the only man that I know. They can walk up a what forty five degree hill, muddy, yeah, and not slip. And he don't use his toe. I, and don't slip. That side got, thing that's poking he got, out. He's got a claw. He's got a he's got a Bunion. knob. Bunions coming out the I'm side saying. of his foot. Yeah, have bunions. That's this long. Oh, I've seen them. What is it? Hey, when we was kids, we I'm not when, sure. we run barefooted, and our feet were so tough that you could throw a a quart mason jar and bust it. And we just walk over and keep going, not well, even cut it. Well, spoiler alert, my feet are so tender when whoever gets a hold of my feet at that thing, you're going to have to tie me down. <laughs> I'm wearing socks. I'm, <laughs> no, he ain't wearing socks. I'm wearing they socks. Ain't. They can wash my socks on the outside of my shoes. Well, didn't uh, Phil go shoeless for two years when he was running from the oh, law? Oh, no, no, yeah. Hey, look, he lived on, uh, can't even think of, we had a little cabin on the uh Land that they was leasing. That's where he was hiding out. Yeah, on Moss Lake. That's where he hid out. I'd love lot. to see what you boys called a cabin. Well, you know, Jace told me the story. Look, he said that Tommy brought him to see his dad back when Phil was just oh, yeah. acting up. And he said the only thing he remembers, Jace was well, maybe five or six years old. He said he remembers uh, Uncle Tommy taking him up there, and he looked, and there was a pile of bones. <laughs> And there was a pile outside, outside the door. A pile right of the, bones right outside yeah. the door. Of this joint, this 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 cabin. This I wouldn't call it a cabin. Oh, no, yeah, that's it, what I say. It, I, it, I'd it, love yeah. to see it. No, no, it was, it was like a like a lean yeah, to. Yeah. It was rickety. He said it was a okay. pile of bones and it was a pile of Vienna sausage cans <laughs> right yeah. next to it. Yeah. And Phil Look. come out with no shoes in the dead of winter, and looked like. Oh no no he just he looked like a wild animal. Yeah, that's what he said. He said okay, he'll never he forget. He still hey, resembles that. that would, no look, way he does. Hey, there would that. be like sticks and leaves in his beard. Yeah, well, it sounds like a Tuesday. Oh, no, no. He looked like a wild <laughs> no, animal. Man. I'm serious. He was actually, when you come up on it, he's scary. Again. I mean, I'm scared. <laughs> Again. This is from his brother. When I'm, I looked at him, he scared me. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious, yeah. too. Like, yeah. Man, my first experience with Phil must have been right after he got out of there because he hadn't showered in a minute. Oh no! And I was riding well, he, downwind of him on that four wheeler. On, well, hey, he never was big on taking baths or changing clothes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wish somebody he think, would. Because he thinks if you wash them, <laughs> they they they're not as warm. Mm. Yeah, but that don't yeah. have nothing to do with the smell. Well, no, no, hey. Mm. Well, you know, he done made a that good, boy got a certain uh, a mustiness good, about you know, him. that's why when I read about John the Baptist in the Bible, mm-hmm. yeah. Phil, Phil Roberts. comes to my mind when, about that. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. So back when land. he was in his 20s, he was one scary looking dude. Okay. <laughs> Running through the woods barefooted. Okay. And finally, I gave him some army socks because they were thick. And he loved them because, hey, he could feel sticks under his feet. 
where they wouldn't crack. He would step off of them. Yeah. And, hey, wintertime, it didn't make any difference what, how cold it was. Uh-uh. I've seen him just in the summertime, same deal, just step, and, and when he stepped, he stepped beside a big coil cotton mouth, and all you'd see was a big spot of white like that cup. Just I do that, then he's moving on. And everybody else said, I said, hey, somebody blow that cotton mouse head off. <laughs> I said, Phil, you was, look, you stepped and you was that close to his head when he went. Yeah, he don't even care. His yeah. line about hey. that is, don't be second. Yeah, no. that's right. Hold yeah. on, hey. That's why we, in Arkansas, he had found a place where it's just full of squirrels. Nope. Invited me, and we, we get ready and walking away. And he said, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. You know, we're about 50 yards away. I said, what? He said, for every squirrel, there's 10 poisonous snakes. <laughs> well, guess what size, huh? The rest is a little afternoon. Poisonous snakes. Hey, 27. Yeah. He brought I, <laughs> I shot every shell I had in my gun, okay, and I killed 27 cottonmouths and uh, uh, puts with the uh, little Copper brown head. Copper copperhead. Head. Yeah. I killed 27 mocks with copperhead. Well, One he, of them, I sat down on a, on a tree that they'd cut down when they cut it, cut it. Going into a creek and high water washed all the dirt out of the roots. I kept hearing something. Look down, big Congo coming up. I just said, "Oh no, boom! Get back down there where you belong. Watch your feet. Get back down. Okay. <laughs> he gonna get you on a toe, Johnny. Dude. Uh, oh, I'm nervous. Uh, I, 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 I you remember that? He uh, just brought you in to clear him out. Oh no, that no. way he'd go back squirrel hunting because hey, he oh, knew no. you wouldn't come back. Oh no! Next time he he was talking, hey, I'm going squirrel hunting. I said, hey, where are you going? He said, over there. I said, just drive on by. Don't call me. Remember yeah, when, don't, uh, even, don't even bother Don't knock coming. on my door. I ain't going. Remember when those California people were here and they brought that snake wrangler? To, he was going to grab a cotton mouth behind mm -hmm. the head. Remember how that turned out? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> he grabbed it. Did he get bit? <laughs> yeah. He decided not to grab him. Yeah, he, I, yeah. he got off of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phil said, I don't know about you. He said, you ain't got but nine fingers. Yeah, they did. Oh, I, I, I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Phil said you ain't got but nine fingers. Uh, you probably ought not be grabbing one of these cotton yeah. mouths. <laughs> yeah, you probably should grab. <laughs> That's not the oh Mike, Mike, yeah. Mike no, with no, a Y. What was M -Y the uh, what was yeah. the people that uh, come the exterminators or somebody? Billy oh. the exterminator. Yeah, yeah, Billy the exterminator. Phil invited him to on on the show, and we filmed them. Oh, I'm aware because me and Phil went and caught cotton mouse the day before because they was worried they wasn't going to encounter it. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, yeah. have a look. So, <laughs> hey, this they, place down here they, is thick. Hey, yeah, they planted them. No, okay. we didn't because well, we didn't have to. Well, I'm just saying. Martin, but we had them. <laughs> Martin, and just in Phil, case. Yeah. Martin and Phil are standing outside the blind. Phil's got that AR-15 loaded <laughs> with two clips, 30 rounds apiece. Okay, and, and, and Phil is giving a play-by-play. He said, well, right now they just stepped onto the boat run. And you hear, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, talking about, well, they run, they run into the first cotton mouth. You know, then he said, okay, they just climbed in the kitchen area. I can hear them. He said, boy, I sure hope they don't hit a two before that's got a big bunch of purple tail washed on it. By that time, it's, oh, it's just a stampede out of the blind. Well, one of them is allergic to washed. Yeah, he he got, looked like the elephant man. He got stuff right between the eyes. Yeah, just Seems all like over a, his face. And he'd come out looking like the elephant man. I'm serious. He didn't he have an EpiPen with him. Oh, they had to rush him to the hospital. That seems like a or bad to business die. to go into if you're allergic to yeah, If you're to allergic, loss. you shouldn't no, no. be an exterminator. No. You should like go work at a bank. Yeah, so usually at the end of their show of you the extermination, didn't meet these guys. <laughs> he always had some hey, nothing was none of these animals were hurt or anything like that. We just caught them and then moved them to a new location. At the end of this one, it says, hey, mission aborted. Mission, <laughs> mission aborted. aborted. Phil, they're leaving. And Phil said, hey, guys, wait a minute. This is just the first blind. I got 15 more y'all need to clear. Well, you know what the, the cool thing is? <laughs> si wasn't even there, but he can tell that story better. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, wasn't nobody but me and Phil than there. anybody <laughs> who was on the premises. Wasn't nobody but me and Phil yeah. there. Well, hey, they told me about it. They told me about it. You showed me some of the footage. Oh, and I said, what oh, Si didn't tell you was... <laughs> typical Phil when we got done we had them snakes that we caught the day before and Phil said now look 
I know y'all into removing these things. He said, let me show you how we handle them. He said, Martin, dump them out. Yeah. And I had them in an ice chest the, back there cold. We were at the boathouse. And I just took it. You were that there? Bag. Yeah, we was at the boathouse. I took that bag and dumped it out. And all five of them cotton mouse right there. And Phil just took that AR and just emptied the magazine on into the dirt right there, blowing and, pieces and of mud. And didn't get nobody warning. So, hey, yeah. it just, it's just, bop, 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 bop. And All hey. the people on that TV crew so started scattering. <laughs> they gone. <laughs> and I'm over there like this. No, like, no. Yeah, oh, just, I couldn't hear I nothing. Just, just, yeah. He, he done oh, rung no. my ears. No, I was no. like, I, I'm over there like I sound like I'm, I'm in a room with bells. And he just had that feel grin on his face. He never said a word after. <laughs> right. He, he just man. had that grin on his He's face. He just, he looked, Don't move. It, it was pieces of cotton mouth that flew everywhere. Uh, wow. No feel. He's all about shock and <laughs> awe. The same way he preaches. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And does commercials. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, uh, Italian. Italian. Yay, Italian. Yay, oh, Italian. Wow. Oh, yeah. well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. What kind of gun did he shoot that day that was all the... Oh, that was a M16. fully automatic. Yeah, M16. Um, no, that was a... Uh... M16's burst. No, it was, it was M16. But that ain't the same it, gun it was Phil a... was shooting the snakes with. Uh, he? He's got an AR-15. Yeah, okay. It's a two two three. Yeah. Yeah, loud. man, yeah. that thing was loud. Yeah, it's loud. <laughs> did, you, oh, did you tell Martin about having to hold Cy because he was coming back like this? <laughs> oh, that was well, a I, two two three. He was shooting. Oh, Evil Eye had it fully automatic. I had forgot. And how he started far, at the target. <laughs> yeah, and he ended I, up <laughs> right here. No, I did not. Yes, he did. Oh, I got the video. I, did not. I kept it on that man. You telling a lie? And that hey. shot Jay shot one time with his pistol. That's like that new commercial. <laughs> We're gonna throw the challenge flag. Let's see what really happened. <laughs> We got video? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got hey, video. I stayed on the mound of dirt that I was shooting at. Never. Now, I was walking backwards because me, me and that M16 was dancing yeah. and the M16 was leading. Hey, I was actually <laughs> filming it and I was lucky I didn't get shot. I'm serious. I'm telling the truth. Hey, right? well, right, this thing started dancing and all I could do, he said, why didn't you take your finger off the trigger? I said, Good. <laughs> we gonna watch a video. Oh, we'll hey. I can't well, wait. Well, to I watch stayed it. on the dirt. Size deer truck. miss, famous deer miss. Hey, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> missed him by two deer high. high. Oh no, I was brain dead that day. I was brain dead. I missed serious. him by two deer high. If I had been hooked up to a monitor, it would have been a blind, blind, just a straight line. Beep. Yeah. Beep. Yeah. Let's see. We gotta find this. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> you took it's, off, Fred. It, it is good. It is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out oh, hey, it, it just, I <laughs> forgot. I had shot it 20 years. I forgot how much power a thirty rounds going off had. Yeah, straight backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Hello. Know. Oh, I took about three steps backwards, but hey. I did. I kept it on the map. Yeah. What you got? We're doing a podcast. <laughs> what? We're doing a podcast. BK. Oh well, who's picking me up? Uh oh. From school? I guess yeah, Joe. Said you was. Joe, Mama. Mama said you was. Oh, I forgot I had a podcast. <laughs> hey, he's out. Just he's wait out. it out. We ain't got but two more seconds. Uh, right. Hey. Yeah. All right, she's calling me now. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, boy, I'm being in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was that? Carl no Valentine. Oh, that was served for you. Uh, yeah. That was beat, uh, Bullfrog. Bullfrog. Right, so today ain't the day to ask Nan for right. a peanut butter pie. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dogs in the, in the dog house, boy. He's sleeping with the dogs tonight. That's right. We uh, got a new dog. I'm, I'm kind of partial to that dog. Oh, y'all got a new one? We got a blue healer. Oh, okay. All right. Martin, did you see this? Oh, it's like a lie. No, 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 I can't see it. This is it's great. a lie. That's it. It's good. Watch Stone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Stone said <laughs> Stone, Then he looks over at the camera all mad Stone said I better stay behind that barrel Yeah, yeah. I, I looked up and I was down range mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Good night. Stone said give me that gun <laughs> it old, it old man oh, that's, oh, that's, that's America right there Yeah he went for a ride <laughs> I, said, hey, I said boy I was dancing with this M16 I said the only bad thing about it was 
The M16 was leading. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't going to let off that trigger, though. No. Nah. <laughs> no, you can't. I did keep it right on the mound, though. He did. You upon, did. You kept upon, it level. Upon further review. You just was going that yeah. way. You went no, from no, a 20-yard shot to a 40-yard shot. <laughs> I just was going backwards, but I did keep it right on the dirt. Yeah, ground. you did. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> well, Johnny D, you got any Instagram questions? Oh, in there? I got questions on questions on questions. What you got? Oh, got um, since everybody's here, you can ask everybody. We don't have to pick and choose. Uh, there you go. <laughs> we do. We can just go with anything. I did have one specifically. Okay, Kylie emails in or Instagrams in, um, and would love to hear from Cy si and Stone. Her husband is in the army. And what's the best advice they can give? Hmm. That's a tough one. No, that's pretty broad. Let's see. Uh, well, the best marriage advice? I mean, it just says advice. army life advice and best. Oh, so he's full time army. Yeah. You know, they're new. Are they newlyweds? And so, I don't know. Probably no, don't so. Know. Um, pro yeah. Probably young. Uh, oof. <laughs> That's tough. It's tough. Well, first, this is for your husband. Hey, dude, keep your head down. <laughs> okay. Be safe while you're out there serving our nation, and we appreciate you doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Number two, when you are together, do not waste your time. That's right. Okay. When you're together, because there'll be times when you're deployed and mama's got to stay home. Okay. Make sure you write her. Okay, or nowadays you've got technology you can actually FaceTime her. Okay, so but keep in contact, especially if you have children, you know, because I've been seeing that they got even more techno technology so that, you know, fathers don't, you know, miss out their kids growing up when they're deployed. Yeah, that's that's awesome advice right there. Just make every minute count that you're together. And because, uh, you know, when the spouse also serves – just as yep. much as That's the it. military member. Probably more. I take. I say it's uh, more. It's, it's they they sacrifice a lot for our country, and we are so appreciative of what you do. So yeah, just take make the most of t the time you have together. Enjoy it, cherish it. Takes lot take lots of pictures, and uh, yeah, that's that's about as good as advice. You're a picture taker. I've learned that about you over like, the years. Yeah. Well, I, I like to document uh -huh. uh, memories. Yeah. Uh, you know, so every every piece of text I, mean, I, I put on the wall, it's not to put up there to brag about. It's to remind me of the memory mm -hmm. that happened that day. Most of them he's got pictures with, and the like a deer is the mouth there, and then the picture's under it. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with my part, my, my hunting partner. Yeah. My hunting and fishing partner is his daughter. Who's stuck in school? Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, hey, don't have a ride. Yeah. Yeah. He's on the side to come pick her up. No, no, no. Come pick him up. <laughs> About ninety percent of the time, she straps me on whatever we're doing. Fishing, so, Sai si said, "Let her wait." Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's good Make her him. wait, boys. Hey. He's always teaching both of us patience. patience. Oh saying. yeah. Okay, because when we're in the boat, you know, he's motoring. Okay, he's the captain. He's motoring. Me and BK are sitting there with a rod and reel like this. Yeah, both of them sitting there with a pole in their hand. Y'all just, just relax. As soon as he shuts the motor off, we were starting. He said, wait, I'm not done yet. I got to get old. You know, I got to mark them. I got to get the position with the wind, all that. Tell me, you know, me and BK are going, can you hurry up? Impatient <laughs> side. But y'all are a lot better than you used to be. Children, patience, yeah. children. But no, that's, that's, that's really good advice. <clears throat> uh, here's, here's a short one. And I don't know why somebody would ask this, but ARTD asked, what is Uncle Si's blood pressure? I don't You wouldn't believe it. It's about 120 over what? I don't know. 70. 75 normally. Perfect. One, I'm serious. It's right at 120 over something, 75 or 70. Mm -hmm. There you go. Every time I take, every I time I nurse they takes that. it. They look at him and say, good grief, that's so good. You probably would have been a better question if you'd asked him after he got there shooting them jacks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no, it would probably right been before out. he pulled yeah. the trigger on that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet it was a little elevated. <laughs> well, I don't know. He didn't even know that one had antlers. No. Nah. <laughs> well, no, hey, I keep well, no, telling No, we really him. should have checked it on that one where he missed a deer by three deer. Oh, yeah. no, look, I done told him. If I would have been on a heart monitor or a brain monitor. Gone. It would be just a Flatline. Flatline. I, was brain, I was brain dead. Because, look, I didn't, you know, you're supposed to squeeze the trigger. No, it was one of these deals. 
Well, knowing what I know now, I'm not even sure you saw the deer. He didn't show oh. up. Boy. I'm just glad I oh, no, found the way your eyes were. I saw her, but I shot 12 foot over her head. Okay, because I did this. And the, and the rifle done this. When the deer don't move, that's how you know you miss bad. <laughs> They're like, what? What was that? The deer, yeah, the deer's kind of saying, I oh, heard a buzz. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard a buzz. Them yellow jackets, are, <laughs> yeah. they mean this time of year. <laughs> you got one more? Uh, one more. Quick one. Somebody, Kelly did ask if we can, I feel like this is kind of a shot at all of us. That's fine. Could we get an episode of Wives, No Boys? I would love to hear them uninterrupted talk about the men no no that ain't happening. let's vote it down <laughs> let's vote it down right now <laughs> bad idea kelly thumbs down boys not gonna happen and we would edit it heavily if, if it were to <laughs> it's better if the women are there and then they can fact check it because <laughs> as we all know i they, believe they, they used to they be a good work me not to be yeah. the biggest liar in the world yeah. bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Side, women used to really contribute to yeah. society. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? It really day? used to be something. Yeah, that's what he said the other day. Y'all, you was here. Y'all yes. weren't. So I said, you know, they really used them women really used to be a good workforce. That was exactly back what he they, said. Back when they picked the ducks and made right. fellas out of it. Yeah. He said, nowadays ain't much. <laughs> they got they a pinky said, pocket. That's they said, all they Boy, do you now. think you'd be in trouble? I said, no, because all the women know this. I love them to death. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, let's take our last break. We'll come back right after this. Uh, oh, no, am I in trouble? Uh oh, are you? Uh-oh. What happened? Where, where? Uh, Anna's at the chiropractor. I got to go. All right. You want to leave now? You can go if I you mean, need to. Seriously. Yeah, yeah go. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, get yeah, yeah, go get your kids. I got to go pick my kids. If you got to go pick up kids, pick yeah. up kids. Oh, I'm in trouble now. My next question <laughs> from emails is just about those glasses <laughs> side wear. So yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Ain't well, well, you're good. I hope she ain't whooped nobody. <laughs> oh, that's going to happen today when he gets home. Well, Stone, that's fun. You see, this is real life. <laughs> real y'all, life. y'all wonder how much this does. Set. Look, he just left to go get his kit, but he took he his Tupperware with him. I saw that. He took his. Yeah. Oh, he don't good. forget oh, good. Oh, maybe he's going to bring something back. Yeah. Hey, that's the only way you can fill it up is if you take it with you. That's right. You got to take All right, it with Johnny you. D. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. What uh, is What is in that inbox this week? All right. Well, Pacey from Kansas emails in. And Pacey? Mm hmm. P A C E Y. Hmm. I like it. That's Casey and the Sunshine Boys. Yeah. Well, Pacey. Pacey. Oh, Pacey. Pacey. Little Pacey. Yeah. Not Casey. Okay. Yeah. Um, she asked, "Does I see everything in green with those glasses?" No, it's clear. Unless you look at a food plot. <laughs> it's clear. Hand no, me no, them it's things. clear. Yeah. yeah. That's no, around. I'm serious. Clear. It is clear. How can it be clear? Be what? Hey, I'm telling you. That's not clear. That is clear. <laughs> that is clearly chartreuse, and they're clearly very dirty. How do you see anything? Martin, you look ridiculous. <laughs> well, duh. I don't look no more ridiculous than him. Hey, you look, look good. It makes your you eyes get him, big. Bro. I know Does that. that. Hey, you, got like the, you got the bad vision look, son. <laughs> I'm going to sue somebody. Let Gavin look through them. Let no, blue eyes look through them. What color does blue and green make? Gavin got yellow Is that eyes. real bad green for you? It's green. Yeah. Well, I know, but it, 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 it's you know, it's shower tree. It's bright. Y'all need to go with the doctor. Y'all need to it's go. It's a see little bright. Y'all need to go <laughs> see Dr. Parker. Got. And them things are dirty. Uh, yeah, y'all. You need hey, to take a cloth to look, them. Hey, look, I wash them out every night. <laughs> Do you dry them off? I, I got so used <laughs> to them. It ain't Friday. No, no, well, I'm telling you, I've got yeah. so used to them, they don't look that green to me. Yeah. Oh, I yes. Y'all know this. Yes, when you look green. at a food plus that actually ain't really, really green. This makes it really, really yeah, green. Yeah, you like the color. Oh, yeah. Pacey, I can confirm you do see green when you look through those glasses. That's exactly yeah. okay, right. Okay, they yes. have shot me down on it. Okay, yep. you actually see green through green glasses. Yeah. Shocker. Yeah. Shock it's a shocking shot. development. Okay, Sarah emails in. Sarah from Oregon. And she said, yes, normal God-fearing There's people. There's a trail goes up there. Really do live in Oregon. <laughs> yeah, I've spoke up there before. And I've been to Oregon. Mm-hmm. Did I go to Oregon with you? Uh-uh. Where do we go? Spokane. Washington. Spokane. Very Rain. Yeah. Seattle. Rain. Rain. I've been to Seattle. Yeah. That's north. Washington. Right. Okay. Rain. Back, back to Oregon. Oh, no. Back to, well, yeah. we're going there. to Oregon so we can come back here to Louisiana. So she listened to the podcast, never missed the episode. Her daughter's in the fourth grade, and every year, each fourth grader is assigned a state. They conduct research, put together the cool poster of whatever state you oh, got. She got Louisiana? Well, she really wanted Hawaii. But she got Louisiana, and so she's all sad. 
Hawaii would have been easy. Hey, All look, you needed Louisiana's was a rock. Louisiana's got a for lot that. of good stuff. When you do the research, you'll find that out. About Louisiana? Yeah. About That's what Louisiana. she's at. So she's asking for our help with the project on Louisiana. Just cut out a picture of Cy in the shape of Louisiana. Boom. Yep. Probably what else you, you need? That New Orleans. A plus right there. You don't want to visit it, okay? But I mean, <laughs> hey, it's got some good stuff. It's not for living there. It's just yes. for looking right. at it. Just, it's a good place to visit. Just, just for passing through. That's right. It's a good place to visit. Yeah. There are two Especially, states here. Hey, you don't want to come to Mardi Gras. It's a wild time when it's Mardi Gras. Tomorrow. Especially fourth grader. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fourth grader. Do you have any? What? So, Sai? You need crawfish, crawfish, hey, look, rice, the booze. One of rye. my favorite places on this planet. Redfish. It's down it's at the where, very end. Yeah, of. it's where at the bottom of Louisiana, where the Gulf of, or the Mississippi River runs into the Gulf of Mexico. That's pretty neat. That is the coolest place. Now, that's a good place to visit. But overall, I don't blame you for being upset if you wanted Hawaii yeah. and ended yeah. up with the boot. No, I can see why you're upset if you got <laughs> Until you the cost the food. of living here. Oh, the food. Yeah. 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 You you the food. Good, you the food. food. You, you got it. And French heritage. I mean, there's going to yeah. be a lot of yeah, stuff yeah, you yeah, learn. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that you can learn that is Like, very we're the only state that has parishes instead of counties. There That's you right. go. Fun fact four. on your poster board. You know, when I was in I was in fourth grade, I didn't even know what a county was. And half of them. You probably can't even pronounce, <laughs> and that's true. fine. That's true because I got like seventeen letters in them, and yeah. that, us rednecks up here get in trouble by all of them from talking about Tangapahoa and all that stuff. Down Tangapahoa, there. <laughs> yeah. Is that not how you say it? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Feliciana. I mean, there's all kinds of yeah. them down there. Once you go below I ten, though, that's like a whole different world. Oh, that's oh, no. even yeah. different. Yeah, yeah well, that's them bad boys. According down there. to them, that's that's we're just North Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. Or we're South North Arkansas is what we are to them. Well, Shreveport. They're Louisiana. Shreveport well, no, no, is here's, I'll give yeah. you a comparison. Like if you fish on a little pond or a little stream, then you go fish the ocean for deep sea fishing and all that. They're two totally different worlds. Okay, they oh, really are. Above I-10 and below. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's too, it's a, and it's a, it's a very noticeable Oh, it's different. different. Yeah, we're yeah. way friendlier. Yeah. That's right. we just about eat everything here. That's right. Hey. Look, that's what the Bible says. Hey, if Kill it, and eat. you know, walk, swims, or crawls, <laughs> hey, kill it and grill it. Jack. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's pretty much what happened. Thank you for saying that. Hold <laughs> on. What name did you just say? Jack. Jack again. We got 17 Instagram questions. Like people are asking where uh Zach, where did Jack come from? We have tried he to come figure out from that behind out. that tree over. No, no, we have tried to figure. We've that been out. looking for him for a long time, and we time. have no idea <laughs> when it started. The it only thing we do know is he's common to run with a bunch of other fellas, and so yeah. I just refers to him collectively as the boys. Boys, boys. boys. yeah. Hey, boys. Okay. Oh, boys. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. He talks to him a lot while he's urinating. Okay, boys. me and the boys go everywhere. Especially the urine. That's all the jacks put together. <laughs> yes, that's all the jacks put <laughs> Multiple together. jacks. Multiple oh, jacks. Boys. Okay, boys. Just yeah. nest, boys. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, and then, I walk in, boys. and then I walk in the bathroom, ain't nobody in the Versailles. Well, that was I like that film we done. You walk in the bathroom while yeah. Sai's in Well, if he's hour. talking to that many people, hey, I got to go see who it is. For and ain't ever hour. nobody but him. For a solid hour, they film me, and I'm talking, all right, boys, get ready. Here they come, we're in a duck bath. I said, well, what'd y'all do? I was three for three. <laughs> yeah, this goes on for an hour. Then at the end of it, the guy hands the camera to the blind. I'm the only one there. <laughs> yeah, we did film side duck up by himself one morning. Corey Other than the cameraman. I Corey used to tell a funny story when, oh. when Cy would get to the poker game early at Willie's. I'd always show up. And, he, and he'd deal the boys in. Okay, boys, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> and then he'd go from seat to seat and play their hand. <laughs> yeah, he'd play an hour cheating. Yeah. Looking and at, and still got me. everybody that. And I, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm looking at this hand and somebody, hey, I raise you 25. I get over. I said, you, that's a bluff. I call it. <laughs> so I would get there so early. Like when everybody got there, the chips were counted, cards were ready. Like all you had to do was walk in and sit down. So that's I had it. Uh, so I was the, like the greenskeeper. So they all started coming out and yeah. saying, dental cards. Corey, a, Corey was like, I, I thought they all got there early. I heard them all talking. I walked in. It was just Cy. Yeah. <laughs> Bella probably. Oh, no. There's Bella a story know. about Bella. Hey, was like, it was that weird man? It was that I had some little comment about it. 
Tell me, really, are you really betting that much with that stupid hand you got? I know you ain't got nothing. And he knew what it was. (laughs) He knew what it was. All right, right, we got one more? Yeah, one more. All right, Spencer, this one's interesting to me, but I'm a hoarder. Um, What's one thing from your childhood you wish you would have kept? (laughs) Hmm. Martin? I started to say something goofy. Oh, I got something. You guys Do you? My grandpa. I was... We was going through stuff at the, at his house, and um, there was a cigar box, and it had cards, like the old menu cards, you know, and it had a picture, and it was baseball stat, and he coached Cleveland Indians, one of, not the major league, but minor league, something like in there, probably minor league. Ain't no telling whose picture was there. Yeah. No. You know, if you'd yeah. kept that, <sighs> missed it again. <laughs> <laughs> missed it again. No, no, every time someone brings up grandfather, I get just angry because I didn't get to know mine. He's the one of He and, called and me Sonny Boy. Me, Sonny to boy. me, especially when I, I, I see guys that are talking about their grandfather, all the stuff they learned and all the time they spent with him and what he taught them. You know, and I, I didn't get that chance because I didn't, didn't get to know either one of them. Because <clears throat> the grandparents, grandmama and granddad, gives kids children, they've got time to take take time to be with them and, and actually tell them about, you know, when I was growing up, you know, it was horse and buggy days, horse and wagon days. You know. There you go. It's back in the I remember I remember the sandwiches. They'd make bill sandwiches and they'd put, Butter on the bread instead of mayo. Mm. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I'm all for that. I was like. (laughs) Butter rules. Yeah, it was was good. I don't think there's not a grandfather or grandmother that alive that didn't eat cornbread and buttermilk. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they did that dip at it. Oh, no. yeah. The, left, yeah, the leftover not... cornbread oh, yeah. from, from lunch. Because yeah. yeah. Mamaw yeah. made a pot, pan of cornbread yeah. every day. <laughs> there, there are two things you could depend on being on Mamaw's stove every day a pot of peas. And a thing of cornbread. No, no. Yeah. My every grandmother. Just day. in case somebody Grandma come on. Hell. Every yeah. day. Okay. There was hey. a pot of peas. She is pinto beans. Pinto beans and cornbread. And they grew so many purple no, whole they, peas. They, we used to ask her, you know, Grandma, what, what do you, you know, that's a six-quart boiler of beans you just cooked. What do you, go on, somebody might come by and get my and eat the meal. There you go. Yeah, well, I, be, huh? You know they'll be There hung. wasn't a day went by that somebody... Out of the family, or he's just that newer, stop by and tell me, hey, you got any beans and, and rice and cornbread? My favorite part, she used to take her an hour oh. to get dressed to go to Walmart. She's afraid somebody may see her. Oh, now, no, you no. Go, now you oh, go no, to Walmart. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then people ain't even been awake for an hour. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, but she did. She had that hair, that permed hair all all hide up, yeah. you know, like, I and, mine like that. just in case she saw somebody from church, she didn't want to think bad of her. Mm-hmm. My papa. That's some old school Baptist for you, son. Not lip, oh, that red man. lipstick on yeah, point. Ain't nobody gonna say yeah, this uh-uh. barn or no <laughs> No, you ain't gonna see my hair down. My papa did the cornbread and buttermilk <clears throat> thing, but he would pour me a glass of regular milk, there you and go. I would, do, and I was like, I can't, I cannot join you in this buttermilk thing. Yeah, it don't taste nothing like butter no. No. or milk. <laughs> No, it's, it's there's something meant, wrong with it's it. It's just meant to soak some back straps in. Yeah, and then get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's meant for. Hey, get rid of it. I put, but, a, I put some buttermilk in some cornbread I made the other day, but then it cooks it. Yeah. yeah. You don't it don't, it's yeah. like blue cheese. Yeah. You, ain't you cook with it, it it's all right. Yeah. You eat it right there by itself. I got I got questions. Yeah. Lots of them. <laughs> Lots I don't eat so. I put baking powder in there too. I'm not just eating spoon, yeah. spoonfuls. I ain't of gonna that. take a snort of that or yeah. nothing. All right. What's the Bible verse? Let's Bible get out verse. Of here. Hey, all six of us were here today, and so I think I got a pretty good one. You know, because this was fun. It's just like fathers take care of your children. Don't forget them at school pickup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can really throw some shade at Stone right now. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> he's not. Uh, we won't do that. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell him that's what the verse was. Yeah. Like. That's yeah. funny. Well, actually, uh, it was about uh, building each other up as brothers. No. <laughs> ah, 
Damn. Uh, it actually is. Oh, that's good. Go I ahead. have two of them. First Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you're doing. And that's what... Oh, we encourage him to get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go get her. Go pick go go his child up. <laughs> and then the other one is Psalms 133, 1. Behold how hmm. good and pleasant it is when the brothers dwell in unity. We got a pretty good thing going here. We're all friends, and I really enjoy it. Let's let's do it again. 